Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at the XROM S21 Ultra port with One UI 6 for our Galaxy S8 and the Galaxy S8 Plus, and which is based on Android 14. So, without wasting more time, let's get straight into it. So, guys, this is the first time someone has ported One UI 6.1 to the Galaxy S8, and that's hats off to the developer for his work for this really old device. And it's been over seven years for this device to be launched. And still the work is going great. I mean, we are getting the One UI 6.1 based on Android 14. For that, let's go to about phone. Here, uh, as you can see, Galaxy S8. In product name, it says S8 Plus. I don't know anyone in the default name says S8 Plus. But yeah, this is the S8, obviously. You can see the size is also. So this is a Galaxy S8. We're going to software info. As you can see, this is the Android version 14. Yeah. And main thing is we're getting the latest security patch obviously with android 14 and one ui 6 the patches will be of 2024 why is this not moving backwards wow so as you can see you have seen this bug maybe this is a separate app to not be opened but yeah here we get the android security patch level 1 july 2024 that's really amazing sorry guys a small correction this is the version 2 of the x rom and it works even for the Galaxy Note 8. So yeah, even Note 8 users can flash that. So you have to just uh, check the description, go to the link and follow all the procedure. And you can enjoy this on the Galaxy Note 8, Note 8 because previously, right now I just said about it, it's for the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus, but no, it's also for the Note 8. So yeah, Note 8 users can also enjoy the One UI 6.1 based on Android 14. Now guys, the typical Samsung One UI home screen launcher, and blur the quick settings panel it looks so nice they have uh, uh, a great ui as you can see uh, they have modified the quick settings ui the blur and all it, it's all fine that's really nice also the background blur in the app draw it looks really great as you can see the icons the colors they all look the same like previous uh, one ui uh, app icons and all that stuff but let's jump into the settings for the home and as you can see, yeah, just normal settings. Some settings maybe uh, have been added, just minor stuff and that. Then wallpaper and style. And this is, it's been a long time I have uh, used the uh, one UI. So if I say something wrong, uh, just correct me. This is the color palette and it was available in the previous versions too. Because I have used my mom's S20 FE to check about the one UI updates and all. Now this is the home, uh, sorry, setting screen. And as you can see your Samsung account, your Samsung account profile. And this is the uh, settings UI. Uh, the settings UI has not that much changed. Uh, here we get the phone icon, uh, the phone photo, software info, which I have already shown you two times. So there's no need of that. Let's jump into settings one by one and let's see uh, what uh, features we get. Modes and routines. Uh, you can set your routines according to what you're doing, sleeping at work driving or in an engaged in any other activity sound vibrations and these are the options you get vibration intensity you can control that too because it's really like that much vibrating the intensity is really strong here these are notifications lock screen notifications and yeah, you can customize that notification pop style brief and detailed you can also customize this edge lighting style you can customize everything there's a lot of customization samsung has provided now there's a display stuff motion smoothness now this is not for us because samsung s8 is default 60 hertz so it doesn't work even if you set it to uh to 120 hertz then resolution uh, i don't know if the resolution thing works but yeah there is uh it was not mentioned in the bug so it means it works so just use it and apply it samsung uh, s8 plus uh, and S8 Note 8 all support the QHD Plus display, screen timeout, just some normal Samsung stuff is present. Always on display also works. Yeah, I hope you can see that it's a pretty dim, but yeah, it works fine. And uh, where were we? Battery. We have these options power saving, background control, and as you can see, you can control the apps battery protection and these are the charging settings yeah there's nothing into the advanced charging or maybe i don't know what that function does 
So this is what I already shown you. These are the themes. You can use a Samsung account and install different, different themes. Uh, right now, I do not want to do that. Sorry. Home screen. This is what I already shown you. Lock screen. You can customize the lock and stuff, roaming clock and all that stuff. And yep, that's basically it. Advanced features. Intelligence. Uh, I think this is the AI stuff, but I I'm not interested at all in this. Maybe you, if you guys are, you can just use and customize that. It's uh, not that useful for me. Digital well-being. And yeah, the UI has changed a bit because last time I saw the uh, Samsung Digital Well-Being dashboard, it was a bit different. Smart Manager again. I don't know if it really helps cleaning stuff. But yeah, the UI looks great. The dashboard looks great. They have used great design. App General Management, User Guide and About Phone. Just the normal stuff. So these are all the settings present. Now, but the bugs, uh, I will tell you the first bug that we don't have the Samsung camera. It does not work. This is the camera that we have to use. And it works fine. And you can also try uh, other cameras. If it works for you, then that's great. The Google camera should work fine, I guess. But this is the default one provided. So yeah, use this right now. For uh, the other Samsung features, you won't be able to use. You have to go back to stock or other ROMs which have a really older version. But they work great. So... It's upon you. Yeah, you have to uh, sacrifice something to get something new. So yeah, that is how it works. And these are the, all the features. And now let's move to the bug list. So guys, this is the bugs list. And this is the, uh, as you can see, flashlight only for noted. So for noted, flashlight is not working. This is the change log of what's changed in version two. Uh, if you guys understand anything, then that's great. If not, I may not be explained not be able to explain it to you but yeah just get it that more uh the stability has been improved that's it that's what you can get and yep now let's move back to our s8 and let's finish this so this is the review the rom is great i'm using it to uh you know play songs through my bluetooth I'm listening to songs and you know sometimes click some pictures with this old guy but yeah this old guy is still more powerful. We are on 114 with July 24 batch and we might be able to see some more, more things in the future. So please uh, press the like button for the developer and also visit the Telegram channel and post a feedback about this ROM because it's really great and uh, you guys must try. Even if you don't want to use it for a daily driver, you guys must try this ROM because it is a really great work. We are getting Android 14 on the Galaxy S8 which is not the AOSP ROM, which is a Samsung based One UI 6.1 ROM. So that is great work done right here for this old guy. So thank you to everyone who have contributed towards this project. And that's it guys. If you guys like the video, press the like button. If not, press the dislike button and subscribe for more videos. Also about the installation. If you want to see the installation, you can proceed. I'm going to not show you the installation properly because as you can see, I don't have the monitor right here it is uh, with someone and i'm not going to get it back for some few days more so right now i'm going to explain you everything in detail in the uh like just coming some few minutes so yeah if you want to install it, uh, if you want to check the installation you can proceed with the video if not then that's a bye bye to you see you guys in the next video now the remaining ones let's proceed towards the installation i will explain everything in detail and also have posted it down in the description so there's no need to worry let's move towards the installation so guys i already explained that i do not have the monitor as you can see in the background it's with someone so i won't be able to show you the installation but i would like to explain you the installation if you have a few minutes to watch about this video so first you have to flash custom tlwrp click here this is the telegram link i am going to post every and each thing link everything in the detail everything in detail in the description so please check that out first go to the link flash the tlrp with odin samsung odin you can install all the links will be there don't be so tense uh, so install the tlrp odin then uh, get odin uh, then flash the repartitioner if you have any issues uh, wipe your data and other stuff uh, before flashing the repartitioner it will boot back to Rika uh, again into the recovery. Now you might get a preload issue, uh, cannot mount preload, cannot wipe preload. Don't worry about that. Flash the cleaner zip and then you can just flash the custom ROM. And you will get Aroma installer. You can use Express installation or 
uh, customized installation uh, you can choose the preferences in that so yeah you can do that and you will be in this rom let me get back to my s8 yes the one us 6 android 14 based s21 ultra port of for your galaxy s8 s8 plus and note 8 so that is it such a short installation guide for you and i've also in, uh, also written the detailed description down below so please check that out and see you guys soon with another video of the s8 and other devices too so bye bye